In this presentation, we will discuss budget timing. Typically, the standard budget for most companies will cover a year. So we'll have the annual budget. We'll have the annual budget, which will cover the next year. We're looking into the future, of course. We're doing the budgeting process. We're looking for the future year. Once we have that future year budget in place, we'll often break that down into smaller chunks, those smaller chunks typically being a quarterly budget and then possibly even smaller into monthly budgets. If we take that yearly budget and then break it down into quarterly and monthly, that gives us some feedback that then we can go on as we go through the year. So as we go through each month, as we go through each quarter, we can review what we're doing as we go. We can compare actual to what we budgeted to happen. We can see the variance or the difference and we can make decisions and adjustments as we go through that year. So we can also envision it in this way. We would have the annual budget. That's going to be the overarching budget that we would then make. And then within that, we're going to have the quarterly budgets that we'll then break that annual budget into. And then we'll have the monthly budget. Then as we go through the year, every month, we can take a look at that monthly budget, do the comparison on the monthly budget. Every quarter, we can take a look at that, uh, compare the actual to the budgeted amount for the quarterly budgets. And of course, do the same thing for the annual budget as well. Some companies may also